Do you know how costs change in relation to varying levels of operational activity within a business? This might sound like a straightforward question, but the answer forms the backbone of cost accounting and management. Let's start with fixed costs. These costs stay the same regardless of the level of production or activity. So, whether a business produces one unit or 100 units, these costs remain constant. Think of rent, the salaries of your administrative staff, or the depreciation of fixed assets. Now, it's important to remember that while we call these expenses fixed, they may change over time, just not in relation to production levels. Then, there are variable costs. As the name suggests, these costs vary directly with the level of production or activity. They increase as production ramps up and decrease when production slows down. Examples of variable costs include direct materials, direct labour, and expenses like utility costs related to production. Understanding the behaviour of variable costs is crucial for making accurate financial forecasts and decisions. In between fixed and variable costs, we find mixed costs, which have elements of both. A perfect example is a utility bill where there's a fixed charge plus a variable charge based on usage. Separating these costs into their fixed and variable components is a critical skill for cost behaviour analysis and decision making. Lastly, there are step costs. These costs remain fixed over a certain range of activity, but jump to a higher level when a threshold is crossed. It's like adding an extra supervisor when the production facility exceeds a certain number of units produced. Understanding how these different costs behave as activity levels change is essential for budgeting, forecasting, cost volume profit analysis, pricing decisions, and identifying operational efficiencies. Remember, fixed costs remain constant. Variable costs change directly with production levels. Mixed costs contain both fixed and variable elements, and step costs increase in a step-like manner when a threshold is crossed. Mastering these concepts is not just about passing the CMA Part 1 exam. It's about gaining the tools for effective financial analysis and decision-making that will prove invaluable throughout a career in management accounting.